let's just connect it to live wire and give it a quick try. It's not rotating just yet. All right, we just have to make sure the capacitors are not touching already. Oh, damn it! It seems like the capacitor heated up and welded itself to the revolutionary magazine. I may have to reserve the experimentation for the end product. I guess it would be nice if I could make this part from cast iron rather than plastic, but whatever. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's out. Well, anyway, now we need an actual alarm clock to set the whole thing off. Damn it, I don't have a spare alarm clock. We've got an alarm clock. There you go. Now let's see if I can get a signal out of it. Ooh. Look, when the alarm goes off, a voltage goes to this tiny motor here that vibrates that thing. I wonder what is the voltage of this thing? Shouldn't be too much. 1.4 volts? It's just the battery voltage. Let's see if there is an actual switch in there somewhere. Hmm. I don't know if you see it, but there is a switch here. And I don't know if you can see that all or not, but if I turn it, ooh, see? That switch closes. Let's lift this thing and see if we can use that switch at all. Oh my god, too much complications. Okay, so it's simple. The negative of the battery connects to one of these white wires that connects to the switch here that enables the alarm. The other side of the switch, another white wire 